Greetings, my friends. Have you noticed that the asteroids over the past weeks, months, and a couple of years have been getting closer and closer and closer to Earth and more and more frequent? It's like the, the birth pangs in the Bible. It talks about the when the rapture is about to take place, that um, the birth pangs will get be getting closer and closer in the world. That includes asteroids, signs in the heavens, wars, rumors of wars, um, earthquakes, tornadoes, volcanoes, flooding, the hatred and anger in the world. Like when a woman is getting ready to give birth, the closer the birth pangs you get uh, to, to, uh, to each other, the closer the imminent delivery of that child is. And this is the closer the imminent delivery of the bride of Jesus Christ is. And now we have an asteroid. It's getting ready to come. It will pass by Earth even closer than the moon. And my friends, in astrological uh, terms, something uh, being closer than the moon is very, 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 very close. It doesn't take much at all. Tiny little little adjustment here or there for, that, for one to actually hit the Earth after being that close. And it's going to happen. The big one is coming. The big asteroid that's going to strike Earth and going to wipe out billions. It won't be a planet killer because God won't let the planet be destroyed, but it will wipe out billions. It's coming soon. And this baby that's coming uh, closer to the moon, again, God is just trying to warn us. Christians are so wrapped up in the world. They're so wrapped up in what they want to do. They're so wrapped up in just doing their own thing. They don't care about Jesus Christ. They don't care about witnessing for the lost. They don't care about praying. They don't care about reading the Bible. They don't care about repenting of their sins when they're backslidden. They don't care about living a holy life. They think they just have a, a free ticket, a golden ticket to go to heaven once they get saved. It doesn't work that way. The Bible is explicit about it. Hundreds of scriptures prove you have to repent of your sins after you're saved. And again, why wouldn't you want to get closer to Jesus Christ? Why wouldn't you want to draw nearer unto him? It's just so sickening how the devil has the church so full and has Christians so buffaloed. And he hasn't had me fooled. And I'll keep telling you the truth until I'm either raptured or dead, whatever happens first. But I'm just warning you. The tribulation, man, you don't even want to think about how bad it's going to be during tribulation. It's going to be hellish beyond your wildest nightmare. It's going to make the worst things happening in the world today seem like eating an ice cream cone under your favorite shade tree on a spring afternoon. It's going to be, there's going to be billions dying from this asteroid or heavenly body hitting the earth. Billions dying from a marauding army coming out of the east. Billions dying from plague, pestilence, and disease that'll make today's horrible things like Ebola even look like a, a cold or flu sniffle. There's going to be the sun so hot it'll it'll kill you, make you wish you were dead. Uh, poisonous demonic insects from the pits of hell stinging you for months at a time. You want to die and you can't die. Uh, just 100-pound uh, hailstones falling out of the sky. Just terrible things. Starvation um, and, and, and thirst and and anxiety and depression so bad it makes today's just rampant global epidemic of anxiety and depression seem like uh, a comedy routine. It's going to be bad beyond anyone's worst nightmares or worst imagination. Why would you want to go through all that stuff, my friends? Jesus is warning us now to get us ready. God is to get us to tell us that he's about to send his son, Jesus Christ, back any second of any day. It's time to get ready right now before your time runs out. If you've never been saved or you're backslidden, pray the prayer, do the six steps I have in a box below the video. No one's guaranteed the next day, hour, minute, or second of your life. If you'd like prayer for anything, contact me. I pray for you every day without fail. True Christians, witness and pray for the lost daily. It's your job. If you're not doing it, do it now. If you are, great. Look up. Our redemption draw off nine. We fly soon. May God bless you all. Share this video. I love you all so much. Don't want to see anyone die and go to hell again. And please share this video. Please get the word out. Please wake up. God's trying to warn us. Don't be left behind. Don't deal with the tribulation. Be in heaven with us. Bye.